So welcome to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today we're taking a look at Apple's annual worldwide development conference, which occurred not too long ago. So they had a couple big announcements and we just wanted to quickly go over that. What you guys can expect in the upcoming months, especially with the update of iOS 14. Let's go ahead and jump into it. new to this channel i'll do everything tech from tech unboxing streaming news streaming devices and everything in between so hit that subscribe button smash that notification bell drop your comments and questions in the comment section below so not going to go over everything in this video but i will link um, the actual keynote where you guys can watch it in its entirety let's go over some of the main features of this conference so the first thing is that apple's on the verge of releasing ios 14 and this will introduce a whole new ios for your ipads your watches and of course for your mac os sir so each update transform your experience for using your favorite devices giving you the power to do more things than it has before so let's jump right into ios so redesign widgets shows more information on your home screen so obviously this is something that android's been doing for years probably 10 15 years now what a widget is is just basically a tile that shows information that way you don't have to actually get into the application so they're introducing widgets so if you guys wanted to watch your calories or just check the maps or weather or something like that there'll be something right here where you can go ahead and check it out so nice addition long overdue in my opinion they also added a new app library that automatically organizes your app so how they explain it in the presentation is, is that if you have apps on multiple screen let's say you have five screens of application to you can go through and disable those last couple screens and it will automatically organize your apps in your last screen so if you swipe to the right a couple times this will pop up on the left it will be your suggestions on the right it will be your recent additions and so on and so forth so it does use some um some technology there to predict what you wanted to see on the left side so kind of worried about that but it also has a search so if you don't see what you want you can quickly search for that application they also made some improvement in the messaging as far as what's important and what's not so your most important messages will kind of pop up to the top and the less important ones will go to the bottom so one of the other features that they added was the actual moving video over the screen or the multitask and uh, they've really done this well on android for a couple years so glad to see that apple's actually bringing this over question would be would they allow all applications to do this will youtube will hulu will sling tv be able to do this and that's something we'll have to wait and see when the actual operating system releases and last but not least they're going to add clips to help you perform tasks faster so those are the uh, big highlights of ios 14. if you guys are on android is this something that's long overdue is this something that makes you want to give apple a second look drop your comments in the comment section below so improvement on ipad os as well so write in any text with the scribble so if you have an ipad pro or ipad with pencil you can go ahead and take advantage of that copy and paste your handwriting notes as text so that's a cool feature right there access more apps functions in a single view and you can also enjoy the iOS features on iPad OS. So they're carrying some of those widgets as well as the, the app grouping over to that. So Mac OS also has a couple upgrades guys. So entire rebuild of Safari, new ways to connect, so improvements on the messenger and connection and improve on the guides to help you get around. As far as the watch OS, discover and share custom faces, meet the sleep app of your dream. So I really was not a fan of sleeping with my watch on. I tried it a couple of times, it didn't work out, but they've improved on that. Find your groove with new workouts, create healthier habits with hand washing. So of course they're taking some of the, the issues that's going on with COVID-19 and just integrating that into their ecosystem, which I think is a good addition. So that's basically it guys. They've made some improvements. Uh, the biggest ones in my opinion is uh, the widgets. I uh, love that from Android and love that they're carrying that over even though now people make a big deal of it because it's it's Apple but whatever the case is for people that's been waiting for that feature that's going to be a huge hit in my opinion as far as the app library that's another big one this is something that I'll probably have to play with just to see if it's useful or not the way how they made it seem uh, seems like it, it might come in handy let me know which feature is most important to you like I said I'll leave a link to the full presentation in the description if you guys have any questions about this comments drop it in the comment section below Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.